Alexson so slow just passes without looking why are you doing that Casemiro we know you can pass we know your quality Manchester United 2 Manchester City 1 I've been telling you lot the race is on there is a race what race we're gonna confirm this in January 22nd but there is a race on we made hard work of that game that game it wasn't the cleanest right it wasn't the most convincing but we got there in the end Marcus Rashford got us there in the end Ganacho got us there in the end Anthony came on gave us something to look forward to let's start off overall with how the game started off we started off cutting the passes for Man City and we did well we held it down they didn't look like they were going to cause any threat except for Cancelo nobody looked of any problem Kevin De Bruyne Fred did somewhat of an okay job in the first half but as he got on he started marking him better but then came that Marcus Rashford grind situation and that's when I said you know what this game could be lost here if Marcus Rashford gets taken off with Don Malassia outstanding Bissaka outstanding when did you think Bissaka could do that take on two three players in the opposition's half this guy is playing out of his skin let him stay in this club I don't want Ten Hag to let him go after that performance they should not be leaving nowhere absolutely nowhere Luke Shaw Varane great partnership kept it tidy kept clearing the ball no problem David De Gea certain passes were okay but as the game progressed his passing started getting poorer and poorer I must say David needs to do a bit better giving the ball away too many times we literally invited them to score a goal a couple of times but they didn't have any clinical chances we defended well we stayed locked and loaded we kept the back line locked come the second half now Grealish comes on for folding and that cross comes in from De Bruyne if I'm not mistaken and he gets that header goal and I really think we should have marked him better Kevin De Bruyne again he's not the fastest player let's be honest and he shouldn't be going past like that Ericsson so slow just passes without looking why are you doing that Casemiro we know you can pass we know your quality what happened today Casemiro's got credit in the bank let's be honest he's got plenty credit in the bank so I'm not going to be overly critical with him like I'm not going to be overly critical with Ericsson but the fact is Casemiro did not have a good game neither did Ericsson to be honest Ericsson defensive duties is awful so slow in coming back and Casemiro did his best as well trying to protect the back line but at times you're seeing Casemiro just giving the ball away to random players right then we move on to Bruno Fernandes playing on the right hand side he really worked out today constantly pressuring 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 tackling where we can trying to win back the ball trying to keep possession and you know what I must give credit to Bruno Fernandes for what he did as a captain as well he's the real captain of this club Marcus Rashford on the left hand side amazing second half I don't know what kind of magic Ten Hag did in the second half in the changing room but he came back strong no problem he played on the left no problem then he put him on the middle no problem as well Anthony came on that was really well I think Ericsson could have come on a little earlier kept Ericsson in the game a bit longer than I would have liked but overall it was still okay Ericsson still saw it through the first goal right I was thinking that that's offside I'll be honest with you I really thought that was offside because he's technically shielding the ball but London here behind the camera is telling me it's not offside he says that it was no interference with play so technically it should be okay but there's a lot of things on Twitter and I'm sure we will be going back and forth on Twitter and trying to find out if it was actually offside or not but the ref gave it if the ref wanted to check it he could have checked in VAR but it didn't Lionel and the ref they gave it and Man City players were absolutely upset but ever since then, Man City tried to look like they were going to do something with the game. They tried to look like they're going to be on the front foot, trying to pressure us. They couldn't. Varane telling the crowd, let's go. Bruno telling the crowd, let's go. And then came on Ganacho and Ganacho, man. <laughs> Bang. Fish, bash, bosh. Job done. This kid is an absolute superstar give him his contract i know 50 grand is a bit too much but give him his contract lock him for the next five years with a one-year extension keep this kid here marcus rashford in the middle listen he can play on the left middle right no problem he can play everywhere nobody tell me he can't play anywhere anthony in the middle a bit lackluster at times and i think he should be a bit more direct when he's running at one point he tipped the ball over a player and i'm thinking he should go but again he did okay he helped out where he could as well the players there's a lot of polishing to do but most important thing is we're closing the gap and most important thing is we're not putting our heads down we're fighting big up to you all for watching make sure you like and subscribe make sure you go and check out all the videos as well of the pre-match during the match full time we still have a lot of content coming big up to london as well for holding the camera god bless take care